Yo guys, JPR Tech here and here with a voice over recording over my test that I did of the autofocus with Fujifilm. Now here we switch over to the Fujifilm X-H2S with the latest firmware at the time of this recording, which is version 7.01. And I just refuse to accept that Fujifilm really messed things up with the firmware upgrade. But from the looks of this test, it looks like they did, um, yeah, they, they did a mistake somewhere with the firmware because uh, the autofocus got worse. X-H1, it's like a, what, five-year-old camera now, six-year-old camera, and the autofocus is on par with their latest flagship camera. I really want to refuse to accept this fact, but the fact is, uh, or actually the facts in this video shows that these two bodies with the exact same lens, exact same settings, well, at least I tried the exact same settings, both are shooting at their highest quality they can. The X-H1 is at 4K DCI, 200 megabytes per second, whereas the X-H2S is in the 6K open gate. Now the autofocus setting on the X-H1, the tracking sensitivity is at plus two and the speed autofocus speed is at minus two. And that helps to give me a nice smooth uh, pool focus. Now the X-H2S, I believe I left everything in the default setting so I didn't tweak anything but as you could see it does tend to hunt back away from the subject and then come back to focus on both times as you saw right there so that just shows that the autofocus in Fujifilm still needs a little bit more work they just need a little bit more time developing their algorithms to improve the autofocus and back with the X-H1 here doing a touchscreen pool focus. So I'm gonna tap on the 50 millimeter lens right there, the second one on that row of lenses and back on the camera. And as you can see, that tendency to over focus, I focus behind the lens and then come back to it, is a tendency I noticed with this Fujifilm autofocus. But the tracking is not bad, even though it's a little slow, it's again delaying, it's a, like a half a second behind me, but I'm okay with that. But what I do consider unacceptable is the pulsing, which the X-H1 surprisingly is not suffering from that. As you could see with my pulling in and out, ta touching the screen to pull focus, it doesn't pulsate as much. So definitely is a win here for the older X-H1. Now, as you could see, the X-H1 did a pretty decent job. Now, I hope you're sitting down because this X-H2S test is going to be pretty bad. And that's just a spoiler. Starting out with the tap tapping to lock on focus or pull rack with the touch screen. You could see that it's going back and forth a lot. And it's even hard to see where I'm trying to focus. And it's, I'm doing the exact same test. 50 mil tapping on that lens and then going forward and back and then switching between that lens and the XH1 that you see sitting there on the counter. Now when I try to get close, it actually lost focus of the lens. It focused on the camera. Again, it's always focusing behind the subject I was trying to focus. Here, completely lost that 50 mil on that row of lenses, but there we can see caught on to it. And yeah, it's just, I was really surprised how bad this firmware is doing. And again, look at that focus. It just goes really blurred out. It, it's almost like intentionally losing focus to find something to focus on. And here, the X-H2, that's recording me right there. But right now, what you're watching is the X-H1 recording. I'm doing a pool focus centering focusing and you could see that it's delayed again that's the problem with the xh1 it's always like a half second slow but at least it's smooth but with the xh2s which is recording right now we can see it's not only similarly slow but it just hunts a little bit more look at that the xh1 if i go slower it actually helps keep that tracking whereas the xh2s again it's just a little bit disappointing. 
So in conclusion, what do I get out of this video? Well, I can clearly see that Fujifilm's autofocus is not ready. Not ready for the content creators of 2024 that depend on the run and gun sh shooting style that they just pick up the camera, they face it at themselves, or they face it at someone, they expect the focus to, to just keep up with their fast uh, pace. And that's not where Fujifilm is at right now. I was happy to see though, my X-H1 even right now in continuous autofocus doing a great job focusing, working. So it is acceptable to a degree. So that's why it, it, you know, it depends on your expectation. Are you a content creator that depends, that rely? Does your livelihood rely whether that video pulses a little bit from time to time or if it lags a little bit on the autofocus? Does, is your shot really ruined if the autofocus took its time to get to the subject? In my case, no, it doesn't. So realistically, uh, I couldn't tell the difference between the X-H1 and the X-H2S. Both videos look amazing. Just one was square, open gate, and the other one is just with the little thin bars, the DCI cinematic style. What else is there to say? Fujifilm has great colors, amazing. But the autofocusing, they just a little bit lacking behind. Or well, we shouldn't rely our entire work, work or labor on just one side of the gear. You know, it's like saying just because my battery, uh, my camera has short battery life, then it's a terrible camera. No, it's not because the Canon ESM has terrible battery life, but it's still an amazing content creation camera. And I love it. Any manufacturer you go to, they're going to have something that's just a, a con. And what I want to get out of this video is how do we deal with these cons and how do they affect your content creator's life? So hopefully... This video was educational for you guys out there. Uh, fun to see a comparison between old tech and the new tech. And if you like content like this, where we try to squeeze out the quality out of the gear we have, then subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell to let you know when another video comes out. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Peace.